any of you ever out there just think about what it must feel like to uh, hear when the judge gives you life in prison? Sometimes I think about it and what those people that, uh, that has got life, what they went through and what they felt at the moment, and it scares the hell out of me. So, with that being said, this is the movie Life, starring Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. Let's get into it. Life is uh, a comedy drama. Uh, it came out in the late 90s, starring Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, as I said. It has a uh, nice supporting cast of a couple comedians, uh, Bernie Mac, Anthony Anderson. Uh, this, the, the beginning story takes place in Harlem, New York in 1930s. And uh, not exactly sure what year was it, but it was the early 1930s in uh, Harlem, New York. Ray Gibson, played by Eddie Murphy, is a con man. He goes around pickpocketing people and uh, stealing from people, and he meets Claude Banks, who plays by Martin Lawrence, in a nightclub one night. Now, Martin Lawrence, Claude Banks, is an average Joe. He's just a regular guy. He went to night school. Uh, he's The next week, he's starting to work at a bank. So when Claude Banks uh, is, he's having dinner at this nightclub with his date and they're celebrating and she thinks it's, uh, they're going to get engaged, but it's not, a, he's not ready for that. So when he goes to the bathroom, he gets met by these two gangsters who are two guys that, that, that their boss, uh, Martin Lawrence, owes money to. So they rough him up in the bathroom, they take his money, they leave him with no money, and then in comes uh, Ray Gibson, played by Eddie Murphy, who, uh, again, like I say, he's a pickpocketer, so he pretends as if him and Martin Lawrence went to high school, and he goes in his pocket and he steals his wallet. So while Eddie Murphy's at the nightclub, the owner of the nightclub, he owes money to him just like Martin Lawrence does. So when he goes in Martin Lawrence's wallet, there is no money. So the nightclub owner decides to drown both of them. First, he decides to drown Martin Lawrence, but Eddie Murphy, uh, Ray Gibson, uh, talks him out of it, and he begins to give him a, a proposal that he can go down to Mississippi because he has a connection with alcohol and to that he can give him that connection and hook him up with it if he uh, spares Martin Lawrence and spares both of their lives. And so when the two go down to Mississippi, they, they, they take care of their business, they do what they needed to do. So instead of going coming right back up to New York, they decide to go to a, uh, like a little nightclub there. It's kind of like a nightclub, a little less than a nightclub down in Mississippi, where they get themselves into some trouble, which end up getting them framed for murder. So they end up, so both of them end up getting sent to some type of uh, labor prison. And at this labor prison, there is, there is just, there is no walls, um, they're just pretty much, you, you only uh, eat what you can grow. It's, it's pretty much something like that. Guys, the chemistry between the two is very good. Those guys were very funny. Um, they both have done some bad films. Uh, the supporting cast was very good, very funny. Like I said uh, in one of my previous videos, Bernie Mac is also, in, also is in this film. And he's one of my favorite comedians. You're, this movie, you're pretty much just watching two complete strangers, two opposites that get themselves into some trouble. And they pretty much uh, end up with the worst, they put themselves in the worst position imaginable for two people. And you pretty much just go on that long struggle journey um, of prison. The movie is called Life, obviously. So you pretty much just go through that. It's very funny. I recommend it to anyone. Um, I'm feeling an 81 out of 100 for life. Guys, what do you think? What is your 0 through 100 on this? Is it less? Is it more? Like, subscribe. More videos coming down, coming down the pipe. Catch you later.